welcome back to another episode of PTV. I'm Samantha Pruitt. And I'm Taya Cunningham. Happy April Fool's Day! Well, there was no fooling around when Miss Suchland's science classes had a visitor from Barton Community College who taught them more about lab technology. Let's take a look. Lab technologist Cheryl Lippert visited Miss Suchland's science classes to share about laboratory science and possible careers. She just came to basically promote phlebotomy in general and laboratory sciences. Um, what they did is they looked at the passing of a virus. One person has a virus, they share that virus can spread. What they did from then is pretend they took the blood samples from those people and tested the blood to see if it was positive or negative for a virus. And you're going to put one drop in each circle and then you're going to use your stick to mix them together. We learned exactly uh, what a lab technician does and how they test different diseases like when you get like blood taken out at the medical clinic we they get it shipped to lab technicians and they kind of see which diseases you have or not. Mrs. Lippert hopes students learn from her presentation. I want them to be better consumers of health care, understand how their bodies work and also understand that the laboratory people are hidden away and we have a great job and a great job opportunity as a career. Um, I think it went really well. The students really uh, seemed to enjoy her coming and presenting and it kind of opened their eyes to another job in the science area. For PTV, this is Alicia Hernandez. The elementary and middle schools also had a special visitor. Speaker and author Jennifer Dismang shared her experiences about life and writing with students. Here's that story. But are we quitters? No, we That's right, we're winners. Children's book author and speaker Jennifer Dismang visited Phillipsburg schools last month to share an inspirational message. The thing that I would like for people to gain from the experience of listening to the message is that it drives home the points of how our power truly comes from the choices that we make. We're going to start talking about self-esteem. And what self-esteem is, is it means how you feel about yourself on the inside. Uh, she empowered students by talking about self-esteem, how um, she talked about the greatness game, great ideas for all of us. Dismang uses personal experiences to help connect with her audience. You know, we all have personal experiences that we can draw from that everybody has felt at one point or another. And if you can be um, upfront and create a powerful message from those experiences, that's when they really touch people. Dismang created the character Harry Hornaker to show that even though none of us are perfect, we all have greatness inside. That like Harry, we probably all have things about us that we wish were different. Everybody has felt like they weren't enough, or everybody has felt like they weren't good enough. And when people uh, realize that, hey, at one time maybe you felt like that too, it becomes uh, very inspiring. For PTV, this is Danica Hanchett. Our music students have been busy preparing for concerts. One of those concerts was held recently. Here's more about the Spring Vocal Concert. So without further ado, please welcome the amendment. In early March, the PHS students showcased their talents in the spring concert directed by Robert Roth. On this concert, um, I tried to include various different little ensembles that the, the students could sing in. So women's only ensembles, men's only ensembles, small chamber groups, and then of course the large choir. So we went through a lot of repertoire this evening. We learned a lot of repertoire in this previous semester, starting in January, and the kids really stepped up. They did a really awesome job singing and really making some fine music this evening. Everybody did amazing, and it sounded really good. For PTV, this is Alyssa Fawcett. Our music students and the whole community had a special treat when the St. Louis Brass held a clinic in performance at the Huck Boyd Center. The St. Louis Brass Quintet visited Phillipsburg earlier in March. The St. Louis Brass, the Phillips County Arts Council put this on. 
and it was sponsored by them and they contacted me about a month ago and told me that they was going to be coming. I was very, very excited because I knew they put on a tremendous show. My favorite part of the St. Louis Brass Clinic was learning how to better control your airflow so you'll be able to play more beautifully and use your air to the best of your ability. My favorite part of the clinic was hearing them play. This is probably a biased opinion, but my favorite was the bass trombone because I'm a trombonist. And they talked about how they're going to have a soprano, alto, tenor, and bass trombone all up on stage at some point in time. I like the French horn. That's a close though. So there were a lot more other brass instruments long ago. After the clinic, where music students learned breathing techniques and the history of brass instruments, the quintet held a performance for the community. The concert included traditional instruments along with some unique ones as well. I know everybody had a really, really good time. And there was not, I loved every song they played. I loved when they played the seashells. Happy birthday on the seashells was the coolest thing in the world. Then the history of all the instruments. And then their holiday, uh, their last song that they played. That's one of my favorite, favorite songs of all time. So I really enjoyed the concert. For PTV, this is Samantha Pruitt. PHS is blessed with many students who have special talents. We're also blessed with several guys named Connor. What do you get when you put them all together? Let's find out. Several PHS students are also involved with 4-H. Over spring break, one PHS student in 4-H taught others some tips on baking. Here's that story. <laughs> no flavor. PHS junior Maggie Momberg uses her leadership skills to teach younger 4-H members. 
I've been in 4-H for 10 years and so as you get older you get to do more leadership opportunities within your club and community. So I've been a team leader for the Foods and Nutrition Project for three years and so that means you can host project meetings for kids in your club or in the whole county of Phillips County. So I'm hosting a foods meeting today where we're going to make mini pies and sample different fruits and vegetables and find out the different health benefits associated with each color of the fruit. Almost every category helps prevent cancer, so that's why we should eat lots of fruits and vegetables. We baked pies and learned about how different fruits and vegetables help with our health. So now we got this. I thought it would be fun to be able to bake pies and learn new things. For PTV, this is Riley Breton. Recently, new members of the National Honor Society were inducted into NHS. Oriana Ratzliff has this report. PHS students and their parents gathered on Thursday, March 10th for the annual NHS induction ceremony. The National Honor Society is a group of students basically that are high achievers in the classroom. They have a high GPA which would be a 3.5 and better and then they are judged on four principles character, service, leadership, and scholarship. Their resumes basically are judged by a panel, a faculty panel, and then they are selected for membership into this group that way. Being inducted into the National Honor Society was a really big honor because the people that choose you are teachers and people from the school, so it's just awesome to be recognized by them, to be shown that you have leadership and service skills, and they see that through what you do at the school and different stuff in the community. What we do here at Phillipsburg High School is a traditional ceremony where each of our officers, president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and our student council representative, what they do is they read a little part of each of the four pillars of NHS, the service, character, leadership, and scholarship, and they also light a candle at that time, basically explaining what, what NHS is, and then after that the new inductees um, recite a pledge. I was voted the secretary, and so during the induction part of it, I had to say um, a part about a certain characteristic. It's a, it's a nice thing to be around. It's a great honor for these students. Um, it shows, you know, that hard work and dedication in the classroom can pay off and this is kind of a way of rewarding them for that. My favorite part was probably just being chosen for it because, again, it's such a big honor and then the food was great too. I would say it's just important when you're in school, in high school, to like get involved in a lot of things and always be helping others, help younger kids because that helps you be a leader and people look for those characteristics and then do a lot of community service and just help out wherever possible. Always make sure to work hard and try your hardest so then you can get good honors like this. For PTV, this is Oriana Ratzliff. After basketball season ends, it's a PHS tradition for seniors to take on the faculty in the annual Seniors vs. Faculty basketball game. Savannah Ewing reports on how that went. The seniors ended the winter sports season with a competitive basketball game against the faculty on March 10th. It's a, it's a great thing for the kids and the, and the teachers to play together and just, I mean, just have a good time and it's kind of a nice way to send the seniors off from from the basketball season and the wrestling season because we got wrestling coaches that play with us and, and some guys that, you know, and girls too, the girls, the ladies play and that's, it's just kind of nice for the, you know, for the kids to see the teachers as, you know, what they used to look like in their glory days, of the, although of course we're a few steps slower, stuff like that, but no, it's just a lot of fun. Playing against the students was, uh, you kind of want to challenge them, but you know you can't, so you, it's just kind of fun. Like, Caitlin Swanson comes driving at me, and I'm just like, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me, and she just smiles and dribbled on around. So the kids were pretty nice about it. Although both the faculty and seniors were hungry for competition, they both had their own complications. It felt like I was a lot slower than them and not in great shape. <laughs> because it just got cleared yesterday, so I didn't really want to run around. That's why I stayed at one end of the court most of the time. <laughs> the faculty kept their winning streak against the boys, but the women faculty couldn't keep up and lost to the senior girls. The staff won, of course, faculty won. 
We've, uh, we've had a pretty good record against the seniors the last few years. Playing in the senior versus faculty game is highly recommended. The most exciting part was that I actually made a basket for me personally. And um, second of all, it was just fun to be out there. With, you know, I'm too old to be doing it, but it was still fun to be up and down the court. Um, I just think it's a really good tradition for our school. It's a fun activity that uh, everybody just, you know, can go out and just have fun and goof around. And, you know, it's competitive. Everybody wants to win, but it gives a good rapport between the kids and the uh, teachers. Uh, the senior faculty game was really fun, and you should definitely do it when you're a senior. For PTV, this is Savannah Ewing. Now that winter sports are done, it's time for spring sports to begin. Here are the previews for our track and golf teams. The PHS golf team is teeing up for this year's golf season. Well, we got a lot of numbers out uh, this year. We got about 23, 24 players, uh, like 11 or 12 freshmen. So we got a lot of young kids, uh, not a lot of experience coming back. Two or three kids that was on a regional team that's uh, still with us, but uh, we've got some good young kids uh, that's going to join the program and uh, hopefully help us down the road. Whammy. The golfers are hoping to get the league championship back. Well, last year uh, we uh, lost to MCL for the first time in uh, 10 straight. We had 10 straight and then we lost to Plainville. Uh, so that's something we wanted to uh, try to get back, get the league championship back in our hands. Uh, but our kids were rebounded well and, and won regionals and took our team to state. And it's been quite a while, 12, 13 years in a row, we've gone to state with our full team. So that's a big accomplishment that we want to achieve again this year. The golf team is hoping to see good things from its newcomers. I mean, I, we're a team uh, that uh, has some experience back, but uh, like Cameron Tweedy's injury, hopefully we can get him back throughout the season. Uh, Blake Verbus and Clay Ward needs to play well for us. And J.C. Kellerman got a lot of good experience last year. And, Trey Sides has played a lot of golf for uh, the junior golf and throughout, so we're expecting good things from him too. So uh, if we get some uh, more freshmen to, to do some good things, I think we can be a, a really solid team. For PTV, this is Tanner Cole. Good rhythm, buddy. good rhythm. The PHS track team is finding their rhythm and stride as they begin the new season. We've got 27 girls and 22 boys, so we've got a total of 49 student athletes out all together. I think we have a chance to be uh, good on both the boys side and girls side. We've got a, a good nucleus returning from last year and then also we've got a lot of young kids out that uh, we're looking for good things to come out of. Track members set high goals for the season. My goals are to make it to state in an individual event this year. I want to pull ball 10 foot. That's pretty much my main goal and then just come out here and hang out with my friends, have some fun. This year it'd be great to make it to the state track meet again this year um, in our 4x1 and maybe even a personal event. Just PR every track meet, that'd be a pretty good goal. Mm. Somehow make it to state would be pretty good. While some enjoy the competition of track, many also like being outside with friends. I definitely like the meet days, going up and pole vaulting against other people, just the competition is definitely what I like the most. I like being outside and getting to hang out with my friends. Okay. For PTV, this is Haley Bruner. We have many students and teachers who are very passionate about what they love. But can that passion go too far? Spooky. Hi, my name is Nate Pruitt. I'm 18 years old, and I'm addicted to flexing. I just love the way they look. It's a good self-esteem booster. It really attracts the ladies, you know. It started two years ago when I realized that one of my favorite t-shirts were too small because of my very large muscles. And when I looked in the mirror, I realized the beast looked great. After that, I just couldn't stop looking. You know how most people see pictures in clouds? Me, I see designs in my muscles. Mount Rushmore, crazy horse. I flex in the morning when I pick up school bags, shopping bags. Every time I see my reflection, 
and walking into the weight room. I've been told I have a problem. Hello, I'm Jack, I'm 15 years old, and I'm addicted to slamming lockers, or anything. In class, I like to drop my stuff on my desk. When the teacher's not around, I like to throw other people's stuff on the ground. I can't tell anybody I'm addicted to slamming things. Every day is a new slam and I just can't stop. Really, it's the thrill that makes me so rough with the lockers. My favorite thing to do is slam a book against a locker. I do it every day and I can't stop. I won't stop. I love doing it. Hi, my name is Deb Weisar. I'm 26 years old and I'm addicted to making kids feel uncomfortable. It started when I accidentally sat on a student a year ago. Now I just try to make a student uncomfortable every day. Some days it's bad and other days it's not so bad. I only do it when I'm helping another kid but if I can make both kids cringe then I've really reached my goal. My favorite thing to do is to get them to actually move their chair away. That really makes my day. I don't want to stop, but I think it's time for me to get some help. It's not professional. I know that. That wraps up another episode of PTV. I'm Taya Cunningham. And I'm Samantha Pruitt. Stay classy, Phil Spurgheim. <laughs>